Are we live? Yeah, looks like we're live. Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to Android Netrunner. Uh, I'm looking to do another peddler draft today, if I can, and uh, possibly work on the peddler draft code if I can't. Um, for those of you not familiar, let me put that on the main screen. Uh, this is peddler draft. Um, the way it works is uh, you decide how many cards you're drafting, 30, 40, 50, whatever. Um, to build a 30 card deck or a 40 card deck, you pick the card pool between startup, standard, and eternal. I need to get rid of fullest. I don't actually think that should be allowed. Um, pick the side you're playing and boom, go. This doesn't work yet. It'll offer you three card choices. You pick the one you want and you keep going until you've drafted uh, however many cards you're going to draft. Export list, put it on jinteki.net, build a deck, and voila, there you go. That's totally cool with me. I can, we can do start up a card pool if you like. Peddler draft is where you get three random card choices. Sorry, somebody's responding on the Discord, so I'm just responding there. We get three random card choices. Pick one, then keep going till you've made. 30 to 40 random picks or whatever. If we were playing 40 card decks, we'd probably do 50 to 55 picks. Influence doesn't matter. And if you draft an ID, you can use it without worrying about its card deck size or influence restrictions. I'm also quite new at it, being as to how I only invented it last week. <laughs> Here we go. Anyway, we'll see if this person is interested. Um. But anyway, while we're waiting for that, there's two new th uh, developments. Firstly, uh, shout out to Sangren. He's been kind enough to actually put out an API for his card ranking site. I'm thinking it'd be nice to s try and import that card rank data somehow. Um, so that's one iron I've got in the fire. The other would be backend coding. I'd like if there was some thought given to the ratio of cards that are being offered uh sure i'm on uh twitch.tv slash bounty ponder sax2 just as an fyi i'll hop into crash space okay i can't wait to uh, invite this player along I am super excited. And let me see, make sure that I'm recording audio on both sides. Hopefully I am. Uh, yeah, so this is going to put uh, coding for tonight on a hiatus, and that's fine with me. There are some nights that my code brain is more active than others, and today is definitely not an active code brain night, in my opinion. Yeah, you can go away now, please, ChatGPT. ChatGPT is good until it's not, and when it's not, it's just a pain in the neck to work with. But it has the ability to introduce me to topics I don't know that I need to introduce them to. These are the tr uh, Trash Robusto rankings as an, at an API view. And looking through... Uh, 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 take your time. Oh, I was hoping to do Runner this time, if that's okay, since I corped last time I did this. But I'm open to either. So no worries either way. Okay. Uh, looking through, let me just expand all might be the button we need here. There we go. Looking through these, as a rule of thumb, it looks like most cards have roughly 80 to 100 rankings. Some of them have 15 or 16. So some are definitely higher than others. 80, 80, 20, 28. Oh, wait, these are number rankings. Sorry, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. Good. Most of these cards have roughly 100 ratings behind them and have accomplished numbers of a rating that range from 2,000 
to a thousand. So yeah, that's pretty good stuff. Uh, well, so sorry. Was going to be playing with someone else on stream. That's okay. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, Alright, yeah, I should probably have marked this as private, but that's fine. While I'm waiting for that, I'll pull this up. Do, 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 do. Put that over there. And double check to make sure Twitch is working correctly. I've had issues with that in the past, so issues with that in the past, so. Yep, it looks like we're good here. To all of, oh, there are people watching. Hallelujah, that's so rare and wonderful. Huzzah. All right, uh, hello to everybody who's watching, I suppose I should say. Uh, and thank you for joining me. Okay, uh, so we're waiting on Drake. They'll come when they come. Part of me wants to start drafting, the other part is uh ready to play either side i shouldn't have picked corp on purpose i should have been i'll play either siding whatever i'll leave this game as soon as ah we go so let's flip through this uh, uh once more take a look at what we're dealing with here so my rating system power wise for cards i may as well pull up vs code here Visual studio code. My rating system for cards was assuming a base power of 1000, uh, and then that that power factor would be modified based on success or failure of a card. It looks like the Torb rankings are a thousand to two thousand range, so we can go at this one of two ways. Either I can consistently update through TRB, or I can occasionally pull from TRB to adjust my own rankings. I'm leaning towards the second one for a variety of reasons. The biggest one being, I don't want to do anything that would pollute the rankings on that site, and it's vaguely possible someone will try to manipulate one format by messing with another. I, I would rather not see that. But far more pressing, the value of cards is probably not universal. I mean, I'm looking at these, and yeah, Rizeki, Andromeda, Schiffer, Medium... Sim or, or Shimmel Chip, Shurga. these are good cards, period, but Faust is not the first card I would draft, right? Like, there are cards I would much rather have in my draft. Salvage, Vandis, Armor, Vanadis, Armory, I vaguely recollect was good enough to be banned, so let's definitely go and take a look at this card, I'm just curious what was that one again. Salvage, Vanadis, Armory, blah, 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 blah. Trash, Corp Trash is X, X is the amount of you have suffered this turn, this ability measure to take damage. Okay, so you need to take X damage immediately and trash this for the X trashes. This is a really bad card in a, a draft. You don't know that your opponent's going to damage you, you don't know that you're going to draft self-damage capability. It's very narrow. But it's broken as all get out in a... In a build-around-it-yourself format constructed. Hemusian Contract is the highest-ranked card. Well, I guess, in fairness, it's never bad. Okay, let's take a look at... See, the worst ranking is 948. Yeah, clearly these numbers are not my numbers. They're, they're, uh, they didn't start at 1,000 and only drop by a little bit at 100 votes. So I'm definitely going to need... If I to import use these rankings, I would either have to change my system or subtract 500 to, to balance it out. Which, actually, I may as well do. That's quite reasonable. Salvage, Netrunner, Nib. Can be advanced only while rezzed, so it's useless when you res it for two. Gains minimally sized traces. If successful, give a tag. That's... Garbo. That's really bad. My god, I wouldn't... I mean, there's no surprise value. If you have five advancements on it, it's cost you, let's say, the equivalent of seven credits and five clicks, because that's how much a click and a credit, right? You may be able to get them f a cheaper by other means. And at that point, at maximum, it's taxing the runner for ten credits. 
and they can just walk through it for tags. Is this actually an ice? I mean, Burkbugs was bad, but this is... Yeah, I see why this is considered one of the worst cards in the game. Down with the likes of Iris. And Zaibatsu Loyalty. I remember Zaibatsu Loyalty was one of the only cards that I wouldn't even uh, uh, run in FFG Core when there was nothing else to run. Burkbugs, there's the one I remember. Okay, so if we import these and push them to power base, how would that look? Well, I can't actually log into Powerbase right now, can I? Because I'm on stream. Ah. Um, still waiting to get a game going. How long has it been since Drake said she would play? He'd play. Actually, I don't know pronouns on Drake. Hang on. It doesn't say. I'll have to ask. No harm done. Um. Let's see. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. Um. All right, here's 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 what I'm gonna do. It's not like I have a different game lined up either way, so I'm not gonna stress it. If I don't get to play around, I don't get to play around today. Let's try my coding brain and see how far it takes me. Um. Oh, actually, uh, who's on stream right now? Uh, is anybody actually watching on stream right now? Looks like we got a few people watching. So here's a question. Yo, can you hear me? Oh, hello. Hi. Hey. How's it going, Drake? Good. Good. How are you? Not bad. Uh, thank you so much for hopping in. Uh, feel free to say hi to the handful of other people likely on the stream. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> so, are you ready to do this thing and give it a try? Yeah. Yeah, thank yeah. God, because my programmer brain is just not on today. And so, <laughs> it's impressive that you made this. Uh, I'm, it's pretty cool. It sounds really cool, at least. I'm having an absolute blast with it. I promise you it's crappy in the sense that it is clearly under-designed, since web design is not something I ever did at all. Uh, yeah, I uh, I do some programming too, and web design is I find very difficult. It's 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 uh, yeah. I mean, I'm frameworks and all. <laughs> uh, at this stage, I have decided that fixing the front end for this is something that I want to invest in one day. Trademark. <laughs> right, right, right. One day. <laughs> but I, before I do that, I, I have so many ideas for making this cooler. Like, mm -hmm. currently, the big thing on my head is I want 70% of the cards, 30% of the cards or so, for to be totally random, but 50 or 60% or offer to you should be structured. It will mm -hmm. always offer you 10% IDs, uh, out of that 60%, 10% IDs, 50% ice divided equally among the three major types, you know, mm -hmm. et cetera, et yeah. cetera, so that you get pseudo-random partialness question mark. Um, Is that mm -hmm. you who just joined? Uh, Oh, no, that's not. Let no. me... Let me actually leave the Jinteki.net uh, uh, room that I, I've got on here. I'll just swap size runner. Right okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, are you more interested in running Corping or no, don't care? Uh, I can go either way. Then let me run because last time I did this, I, co mm -hmm. I, I corped, and I'd like to see how bad it is on both sides. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. <That's> fine. <laughs> um, I, I'm assuming you were able to get the site up and everything, so... Yep, and I just this? jumped in. Perfect. All right, so we're hogging okay. this room. That's just what we need to be doing. Excellent. Cool. Um, have you played a whole lot of Netrunner? Is this your like brand newish uh, or somewhere in the middle? Or yeah, so I played way back in like 2016. FFG days. Right, right, right. Salute and then, you and me both, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you know, uh, had I didn't have a whole lot of time to play since then, and then recently got back into it, realizing how much it's changed. It's just very different now. There are pros uh, and cons to the different flavor from the FFG era, yeah. and I yep. must say I'm overall pleased. But yes, there absolutely. are, but there are, are choice areas and times where I'm like, you know, mm -hmm. I miss the wild and wacky. Yep. That isn't there as much. Yep. But, yep. but there is a downside that comes with never banning, and uh, I'm glad that we're in an era now where it's like, no, if something's ruining the game, it's out. Oh. Cool. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's... And then I, I do I do like the smaller pool for startup. It just makes it a little bit more interesting and keeps it fresh as uh, as time goes on. Agreed. I'm interested in seeing how peddler street peddler format works in general. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. but I think right now it's easier actually to draft a consistenter deck in the mm -hmm. startup pool than it is in the eternal pool, for example. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming you were able so, to get the website up. Um. Yep. I see the website. Would uh, you my like question to... is. Go ahead is uh the 
in other drafts, you're both players are pulling out of the same pool, but since we're doing different decks, it mm -hmm. doesn't actually matter here. No, it's completely random. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, let's do forty card decks and fifty okay. drafts or something like that. Or would you like to go higher okay. or lower? Uh, no, fifty sounds good. All right. So fifty cards drafted to draft mm -hmm. a forty card deck, which yep. imputes that you as the corp would need uh eighteen agenda points, I believe. 18, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, uh, old ground rules are that you always can add priority requisition as many times as you need mm -hmm. to fill up your deck. Um, I haven't settled on like hard and fast rules, and I'm sure better players than I will come around and give better recommendations, but mm -hmm. that's where I'm at. Um, if you see IDs to draft, you are welcome to draft them, and you can use them, and they have mm -hmm. infinity influence and, I guess in our case, 40 card minimums, regardless what the actual ID says. You can okay. use agendas from any faction, as many mm -hmm. or as few as you draft. If you draft seven of a card, guess what? You can use all seven. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Wow. laughs> uh, <Very good>. Hearthstone <laughs> uh, arena rules apply. The sure. power factor <laughs> slider bar at the top does nothing, so good luck with okay. that. Okay. <laughs> uh, card pool startup, and shall we go? Uh, yeah, I go. think I'm set 50 startup. We got mm -hmm. corp set. And Perfect. Power factor doesn't matter. And once your uh, list is complete, uh, hit export lists, and it'll give you a list that you can copy paste. Oh my Perfect. God, are you serious? What a spicy opening pick for me. Um, well, yeah, I'm definitely talking through my draft. Feel free to do the same, uh, You're or fine. not. Yeah, yeah. Me. I'm uh, looking at all ice right now. I love career fair and lib account so much in general, but I'm gonna pray I get other money because this ID is too good to pass up. Now that I got that ID, I don't need this one. So yay, that's good. Uh, hmm. fast okay. money or s consistent money. I'm generally a fan of consistent money over fast. Damn right, TDP. Couldn't agree more. Hmm. Uh, no. Uh, this card is not the worst card when you don't know what else you're getting and how much you'll ever be able to get in anywhere. Whenever a sub resolves during that run, draw cards hmm. and cash. When you get cash. This is interesting. Okay, host department. Got Neurospike and Dr. Mm -hmm. Keeling, and I don't know which one I like better. <laughs> um, because we're drafting 50 for a 40 card, you don't mm -hmm. have to use every card you draft. Yeah. I suspect we need to go even higher than that. I don't know how mm -hmm. much higher, especially yeah. when ratios aren't being respected, right? Like, what if you just don't draft ice? <laughs> right, right. But. You get plus one max high in size. I hate all of these, actually. This one gets me in one time. This one lets me face check with a little less penalty. Generally speaking, get in one time is probably the more valuable trait. And, yeah, this is the one. Yeah, we don't need you. And now I can freely pick either of you. Okay, good. Uh, I think we go with this one, because I don't know what my synergies for this are going to be. And I am greedy when it comes to finances. <laughs> User or a killer? I don't care for that. But you're the best killer in the damn startup format. <laughs> I do care for that. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. I don't know how good it's going to be. We'll take it. <laughs> you take this ID and then you worry about every little thing. Um, You know, recursion is at a real premium in this format. Yes, it is. And getting in every time, no matter what, is sweet. During the first encounter each turn... With a piece of ice protecting the chosen server, when this would happen, and instead it's this. Uh, I already am hoping that the first time, every time, I'm okay. So let's let's go with this. I think this is a good pressure choice. Please stop offering me this card. I said no once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it was that simple. This is perhaps one of the worst cards of its type. Uh. I'm going to have to pray I get better, and we'll just take this for now. Who are you? <laughs> oh, you're a baby noise. This card is nasty. I think this has the potential to wreck in, in this format. So far, I have very little that benefits from this. I'm leaning towards this kind of a 
haymaker option. Consistent money beats everything, yes. I don't like this when I build around it, I can't imagine I would like it when I don't. This is so much fun for me. I, I don't know about you all, but yeah. I love that like loot box moment where you open a pack and you hope for good luck. <laughs> and getting yeah, yeah. getting to pop and wonder what the next three are going to be, but not having to worry too much because you're just going to hit it again and again. And having mm -hmm. no ability to hate draft actually takes a lot of the mental stress <laughs> out of this for me. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. This I'm... is a uh, this is su super interesting. I was looking at other drafts. Uh, I know uh, Metropole just did one of those posted a video on a different type of draft. Uh, yeah, that's my grid draft. I made that too. Yep. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> I made that's the, awesome. I made the oh, grid okay, draft, okay. the Winston yeah, draft, yeah. and the Peddler draft in two weeks because I'm a they... psycho. <laughs> <laughs> They're both of the, I mean, both so far have been very interesting drafts. I I'm, I'm not. I'm definitely, but let me put it this way: if grid da draft is like the chess of drafting, right, uh -huh, where you're strategically uh -huh. thinking about everything about your opponent and yourself, then uh -huh. this is like the poke, not the poke, uh, and uh, and the poker of drafting is Winston. This is kind of like the uh, uh, the Uno Blitz or the Blitz chess or the Udo of drafting, where it's like I just want to get in there and play. Right, <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. This is uh, this is interesting. It definitely. I, I, really I was, I was wondering how long mm -hmm. it would take, but pedaling definitely seems like it'd be is like a faster than than the grid. There's two. Yeah, because you only have to do one side. Right, right. And you can then voluntarily decide to go back and do another or not, depending on time and constraints. And unfortunately, with this late in the evening, I'm probably only down for one. But right, ordinarily, right. I'd be like, yeah, I'll do. A oh, is this what I need? Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> It might just be good enough, though. It's better than not having one. And I don't want to take a second console over this one, so yeah, we'll take that. Ooh, do I just want to switch IDs? Hmm. Nah, we're good. Keep your current ID. <laughs> Keep your pants on. If you go, when you have a good ID, you don't need it. This is actually yeah. my pet card, but it's kind of useless when this is what you're working with, so we're going to take this. What that uh what well what is the card pool um it's it's three random cards from the from the entire format but there's no replacement or is it, I guess there's always replacement. How do you mean by replacement? Sorry. Like like uh like your you know statistic pro replacement like you pull something out of the bag put it right back in. Correct. There's no replacement. It's uh gotcha. it will offer you at random from the full pool every time with no respect to what you've chosen before. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. That's, It'll be that's funny. It's, it's it's particularly interesting because the IDs I've seen multiple IDs come up the same. Yeah, you know, I've times, gotten offered ID. Tau four times now, and it's like, yeah. please stop. I said no <laughs> once. Yeah. <laughs> Being very honest, I think that is something I should improve about this. My mm -hmm. function currently for card choice has a variable that's called uh, something to the effect of carefully curated card choice. Which is hilarious mm. because it's followed by a pick at random. <laughs> right. <laughs> but truly, I'm tracking a lot of statistics, and I have a bunch of ideas for how that function can be maximized. Mm. I'm thinking what could be cool. I'm, what, I'm trying to decide philosophically a few things. Firstly, how much ratio is a good idea to give in the first place? Right? Mm. How much do I even know what a player should and shouldn't be offered? And second, yep. uh, how much do I want to respect that versus how much do I want you in there suffering with randomness? <laughs> right. Um, how much of the skill of this game is no, uh, uh, draft? That is to say, drafting is knowing when to take a subpar option because you don't know that you will get better. Another thing is, do I want the card chooser to look at what you've been given and adjust because that opens a new strategy where you pick stuff based on what you wanted to offer you later, right? Mm -hmm, or do I right. want it to pre-select all X options based on its ratios and then? You know, dump it. One thing I've yeah. definitely decided is that power bar slider that I showed at the beginning, yep. when implemented, will tilt the power level of cards you get in a general sense based on what you slid it to. So that, you know, if you want a handicap, for example, you can give yourself a handicap. Or if you want to rank your deck power wise, you could say drafted at 1000 power versus drafted at 50 power. Right. This, of course, mm. necessitates tracking the power of every card. Which, of course, yeah. I do for fun, because you're choosing <laughs> between all three right now. Why shouldn't I track that? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's interesting. There's a lot of options there to to, to mess with these. Uh, yeah, a lot of levers, right? Yeah. 
Okay, I don't actually have, I don't know why I'm thinking about this. There's literally one card in my deck that can be charged, and it's not one I care to charge. <laughs> <laughs> I guess because drafting a net cat just seems cool to me. Um, I don't, I don't think I have a, a breaker of this kind yet. Do I? No, I don't. Yeah, so we have to take this literally just so that I can break those, at least for now. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's a must-have. That's what we need. Oh, don't make me pull my hair out. This is the this is the decoder we want. This is the money we want, and they're not being offered separately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's tricky. There's some expensive ice that keeps popping up. I'm like, oh, I can't keep adding this. Gotta take it sometime. Oh yeah. my god, are you seriously doing this to me? Gabe, why are you doing this to me? These are both really good options. Oh, let me see what I've got running for my eaves. Uh, let's see, we've got costs one, costs two, costs one, costs one, costs two. So potentially saves me like five credits a game. Versus gets me four credits immediately. Yeah. Improves all for... You know, I'm 20 into the draft. I can decide to draft that later. I cannot decide to draft this later. So we take we, we take those. We take those. There you go. See, there's the cheap version of it. Boom. And there's more money. There's all the money I'll need for the game. Do I want multiple... We took that. We took the one we really want, which is this. Why do we really want this? Because it's 1-1. One, one. Base of 1 versus 2-1. and one. If you want time to draft the pass. Yeah, this is interesting. I wonder how this ability interacts with this one. It probably doesn't. Yeah, it probably doesn't. Because if this fires, then you no longer are... It's already burned. Or this can go off. I definitely don't want one of these in my deck, which means I have to pick one of these two. I'm leaning towards this one because in the worst case I can always just eat it with this. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay. we'll do that. That's fine. Uh, two copies of that. Nah, I already have a backup. We'll just take more money more money multi-access is good recurring money is good we'll take multi-access okay it should not be offering me catalyst <laughs> the draft identity i need to specifically <laughs> remove that that's a little that's a little <laughs> insulting <laughs> I'm already suffering from that thing. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, this is probably a good move. This is tempting. I kind of want both of these. I'll take this one. All right, I'm 30 frames in. How far in are you? Uh, I got 27. Perfect. So we're keeping good pace. I'm just looking quickly at the clock here. Yeah, see, this is going super fast compared to grid drafting. I mean, I love grid <laughs> drafting. Don't get me wrong. But it really is yeah. like... Yeah, yeah. Chess versus Blitz play, right? This is going to be the most expensive fractor ever. I have nothing to bring its price down with. Surely, is this actually preferable? This is actually preferable. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to have to hope that I get a better plan than what I'm currently planning. Ooh, this might be nice. This might solve all those problems. Uh, we'll take one of those or one of these. Uh, this seems really cool. This seems like it'll come out of nowhere and not be expected. This seems like it is money. How am I doing for money? Let's take a look at that. So we've got none, none, none. One, maybe two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Yeah, it's like a quarter of our deck is money. I think we can afford to have one non-money ideal here. This is a must-have for our deck, so we definitely take those. And now we're getting into... I've been offered a lot of the same stuff, actually. We definitely take that. That solves our... This is so much better than including the current includes, and it's sackable to Aesop's. 
we want this. No, we don't want this. Okay, it shouldn't be able to offer you the same card twice in the same frame. <laughs> that's that's a non-decision. I've, I've seen that like once or twice now. I think also I'm used to thinking in terms of the standard card pool. So in startup, because it's mm -hmm. such a narrow card pool, these collisions are likelier to happen. Mm -hmm. Do I have anything that cares about this? Oh, if not, I definitely want something that cares about that. Let's take a look. One, do, 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 do. It won't be any of these. Uh, won't be this. Won't be this. This is literally the only thing I have. Maybe one, two. Yeah, we have very little that cares about it, but I really want this in my deck. I think we take this perspectively, and we have 12 more cards to fill this out with at least one more hit. And that is another closer. I'll definitely need a closer. We'll take that. We still aren't finding what we need, but we're definitely going to take more card draw. Well, we'll definitely take that. We probably don't install both, but yeah. This is the alternative to this. I'd rather have two of this than one of that and just really go all in on it. Oh, you can't install both at once. It's unique. Ah. Do we take a singleton? Yeah, I think we take a singleton of this just to have options. There we go. That's our that's our fractor problem solved. Mm -hmm. How are we doing on fractors? We already have our fractor problem solved. <laughs> Great. Mm -hmm. Uh good enough for a forty card deck, maybe. Maybe we want more tricks. No, no, we're good, we're good. We'll take this. Do I want this? No, I don't want that. I'm not paying three for it, so no. Uh there's not much I use this for, but it might end up being free. There's not much I use this for, because I don't have career fair. So yeah, we take this, I think. Two copies of this is definitely better than one. We always go for gas. That's a money card, right? Yes! Yes! Good good pickups on the last frames. Uh, One of these two. Um... They're both money, but this is money sometimes, and this is money always, so we'll take money always. Uh, For those of you watching my stream, yeah, that just happened on the last, <laughs> <laughs> last pick. Uh, they're putting endurance in my last pick. Nice. <laughs> and it's like... On the one hand, you know, I would have built this entire deck differently if I had an endurance in it. I'm not yeah. sure it's worth it now, but uh, maybe. Mm. Oh, there we go. Okay. Is this the one? I think over this, this might actually be the one. Let's let's figure out what my final rig looks like. One, two, three, and a flex four maybe, and a flex slot. Uh, leaning pretty hard on this, so this becomes less relevant. Uh, between this and this, this is definitely the go-to. Um. Okay. I think I only drafted one copy of this, and I don't think I have a lot of back room. I have one and two. Maybe I do want this. You get it down early. Who cares about Pony Shaver? Mm -hmm. I think I finish. I'm going to go to Netrunner DB. Okay, mode. two, two, three, true. Uh, Yeah, you know, I'm going to take this and then just never use it. And then if it turns out I need it, I can figure out how to get it down. Well, no, 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 no. If you have this and it's at three base strength, that's really good, right? If you have this and it's at four base strength, that's really good. That's always going to be one credit. You have this and it's at three base strength, that's decent. 
Yeah, I... I think this is probably the way to go. I mean, this is so expensive, and you put it down early, and for what? Right? Um. Okay, so we... Whoa, that's yeah, weird. this is good. Okay, Uh. so I just got the draft complete. There we go. Export lists. Oh, Export that's weird. I think lists. it only mm -hmm. imported singles of everything, the way it exported, or I guess the way I imported it. Hmm. Uh, are you on uh, Netrunner DB or are you yep. on Jinteki? I'm on DB. So I, in took... Jinteki.net, mm -hmm. yeah, because the way it's written, it'll be like one of this, one of this, one of this, including cards yep. you have more than one of. Yep. And on Jinteki, I know that that corrects the moment you paste it in. Like it'll add yeah. the one ofs into two and three ofs. So I usually gotcha. import directly to Jinteki. Um, gotcha. Okay. There is an import as a jinteki.net list tool, but I don't know how that works. Uh, yeah, yeah, so... I'll just go through and try to eyeball. Sure. It's not too, too many. Um, and if you want, you can also just copy paste it directly to jinteki.net. I'm not going to annoy it. I have to make a few cuts because I have 49 cards. Well, I guess I can run 49. The question is, do I want to? <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me see what is actually hot garbo in this deck and needs gone. Because that's one of the nice things about this this uh, format, uh, the uh, startup format. A lot of cards that would normally be not good enough are actually good enough in my head. This deck mm -hmm. has serious schizophrenia. It has no idea what it wants to do. This would actually please me here. Thank you. Uh, good, 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 good. Are we ever actually doing this? Probably not. We probably cut those. I'm way better off closing with with just like this and this. Yeah. This is going to be a hard uh convince me. Yeah, we cut these. One of, two of, one of only, one of, and two of, three of, four. Oh my god. Why did I draft four? Okay. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, white space. I think this is okay. Yeah, yeah, I got that. I think this is okay. I mean, it's not ideal, but... Uh... I like the idea of having a few extra draw cards in my deck, even though it's kind of better to cut them and then not have to draw the mm. cards to let me draw more cards. All right, I've got a deck that's a little big, but I'm going to run with this. Uh, I will create a game. I think Warmth. I'm missing mm -hmm. a couple of cards out of my list still. Uh, are you 44 cards mm -hmm. set. And Are you able to uh, export it again and then just uh, copy it out, or did you close the peddler window? I have it open still. Um, then uh, maybe export the text file and just copy paste uh that from there, or or, or yeah, see have... which double links you're missing. Yeah, I'm looking at the text file right now and. Okay. Uh... Just checking on my yeah, fifty selected. Okay, so I definitely got fifty cards. Yeah, the the text file itself only has forty four. That's Maybe I can copy it. that's really weird. That shouldn't be. Huh. Like, I'm gonna copy it one more time and see. I would certainly accept the possibility of it being a glitch, but um, try re-exporting it, and I. Yeah. Hmm, it's at forty four. Okay. Uh, I just re-exported re it. I'm gonna cool. See. And I will log into the back. Oh yeah, that looks better. Oh, it's it's fixed. Okay. Whew. Yeah. Okay. Then I will not no. log into the backend database. No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was that was weird. Um, but okay. Yeah. The I I've realized that there's a possibility of this breaking that fashion. So for security, that key that it gives you at the end links mm -hmm. to the backend. 
So in theory, a player could give their opponent that key, and if I put an interface for it, you could look at your opponent's deck through there, kind of as gotcha. a validity checking or list sharing, yep. or yep. a import into Jinteki.net option. Hashtag nice, asterisk, yeah. hoping for future. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Yep. Uh, all right. A couple of things. Peddler draft. One card. Oh, and by the way, I'm assuming I call you he, but yep. I don't he, want to mess it up. He, 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 he's fine. Sweet. Okie dokie. Right. To... I am locked and loaded and ready to roll. And thank you so much for jumping on and doing this with me. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I, I, I'm i fine-tuning this, this, this draft, and it's fun, and it's a great format, and sometimes I completely forget to just play it. <laughs> <laughs> and so nights where I really should be giving my brain a break, I'm, like, bashing my head into the code instead. It's, it's yeah, fun, yeah. but and then it stops it's, being uh... fun. <laughs> yeah, no, I... I'm... I'm not. I wasn't busy, so I was like, "Oh, you know what? Fine." I'll, uh, yeah, it's fun times. Draft sounds like it would be fun. I like the fact that unlike when I construct the deck in standard, I feel like I have to do it right every time. Mm. Here, I feel like, "Eh, wing it. Have fun with it. What's the worst that could happen?" Yolo. You only lose this once. I have that. I have. Is there something I'm missing in my Pokemon? Yeah, I think that's just the way I copied it. Are you good on agenda points? I believe I'm just a couple short, so I just need to add like a priority. Yeah, we're doing we're doing forty, right? So it's uh, eighteen, nineteen. I think so. Yes, and I think you can go up to forty-four on a forty card limit, right? Yeah. Yes, that sounds right. Yeah. Um... Which means the corp is even more incentivized to draft extra cards. Because yep. the runner is cutting down to 40, but the corp is cutting down to 44, so we probably should, like, I'm just, I'm just like, m in my head thinking, like, yeah, it mm -hmm. probably needs to be more than just plus 10 frames or what have you. That's fine. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Discard a couple and then add two agendas. Take your time. You do you. It's right. the deck you have to fall in love with. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like falling in love, except you can't ever get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's okay? This no. And then we're doing priority, right? That's the that's yeah. the agenda we had. Yeah, I'd say so. Though I'm tempted to be like. A blank 4-2 should be an option as well, because mm. I feel like you shouldn't be urged to draft blank 4-2s yeah. just because otherwise you'll get blank 5-3s, and Priorek, yeah. while not a blank 5-3, is a bad 5-3. I mean, there's a reason send a message is core at this stage, right? Right. Okay, so my tricky problem here is I have 14 agenda points with my current set of agendas, mm -hmm. and if I add priority... You're it's at 17. 17. So unless you have a one-pointer to cut, you're either playing the 17, which oh, is... Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Hmm? Oh, yeah. yeah. So. If you have a one-pointer to cut, you can. Um, But if yeah. one-pointers are part of how you want to win, then you're allowed to play 16 or 17. You don't have to go 16-specific. That no. being said, it's... Yep, that's easier. I can do that. I will just... I got rid of Decidedly one. suboptimal. <laughs> and then... I feel so, like I ended up with a lot of assets. So Pantograph has taken a pounding on this draft. <laughs> Passed it four times. <laughs> and apparently, Precision Design has had five passes against it, so its power score has gone down significantly. This is really fun, just looking through <laughs> how... I'm shocked to see Urtica Cipher has been passed as many times as it has, though. I would have assumed, you know, limited format, traps are very good. I don't know. Clearly. Yeah, I got... Mm -hmm. Precision Design came up, like, four or five times for me. That's frustrating. Oh, oh, wait, this is showing Miss Corp and Runner. Okay, yeah, let me let me hold off on seeing past picks then, just in case it gives me a clue that I'm wrong. 
supposed to have. I, I clearly I have two motives in playing, and one is fun. Obviously, the other is to make sure that everything is still working. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let's get rid of whatever's too expensive. That's good to know. Oh. Also, OMG, so good to see you. Uh, and I'm not logged in, so I can't comment on my own Twitch. Go figure. Let me do that over here. This is certainly an interesting deck so far. Alright. Um, nice. Okay. Okay. I think I am set. I need to export it. Sweet. I'll see you when you get here. And then, um, obviously, I, I'm assuming you're not like watching my stream right now. But if you are, like, yeah, don't watch during the game. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I. I. I pulled it up originally and of course. closed it out because I didn't want to hear hear you at the same time on my headset. I'm going to go ahead and hear an echo while watching you draft. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong with this plan. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. I actually don't know what my deck is. It looks like just a pile of stuff that generally is okay, and <laughs> I probably yeah. should have cut four or five cards. <laughs> But part of me is like, you know, what I really want to do is do something that I would never have done in a constructed deck. So I'm really hoping at least one of these crappy cards comes to fire, and I'm like, ah, ah that's right, skateboard tricks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah. I'm either the kind of person you really do want to play Netrunner with, or you really don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that back in the not corset, but like first couple cycles, mm -hmm. I went crazy trying to get a honeypot. Well, I called it a honeypot server to fire, where uh, you have multiple shadows. You, you force the runner not to jack out by some ability. Then you have multiple shadows to raise the amount of money you get and then bounce it back to the top. So infinite mm. money, and they can never yeah. leave the server. That, that's fun. Um... Okay, yeah. I think it's good uh, luck have selected. fun yeah good luck yeah well it looks like they offered you the corp that you said yes to <laughs> 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 that's so bad man i'm sorry no uh, you're good <laughs> let's take a look at this. So in our opening uh, hand we have the thing that we eventually want and probably won't find the thing that powers it on till later mm -hmm. stuff that we can't afford and stuff that we don't need with our id this is probably a mulligan i guess yeah, we probably mulled this sucker. <clears throat> Actually, um, I'm going to mute in Discord uh, and then come back post-game if that's cool with you. Uh, just yeah, since fine. I'm stream-talking my way through every move. Okay, thanks. Uh, yep. But uh, feel free to message me, if anything, and obviously you're in yep. Techie, so I can see you right there. Cool. Yep. See you cool. in a sec. Good luck. Yep. Have fun. Yeah, good luck. All right, now I can talk freeling. Um, also, do-do-do-do-do... Uh, Huh. You're saying, I appreciate the assessment. And yeah, I, I, I can see that. I mean, if you install Double Advance an Urtica and it hits, and you're like, yeah, I hit with it, that obviously is going to make you think a lot better of it 
psychologically. That doesn't necessarily mean you've done yourself a favor, and you're not mentally thinking about the time that you installed Double Advanced to card that didn't do anything and never will do anything because it just didn't get run, or it didn't get run when it counted, or what have you. I guess that makes sense. Uh, why is this zoom all messed up? Okay, let's see what we got going on here. And certainly, um, rather than having a trap, I would rather have something install double advance that will hurt my opponent if they don't run it, or or worse. Um, I guess in a constructed deck, I feel like I have the luxury of intentionally getting things to happen. And in a draft deck, I feel like I'm at the mercy of what I can make happen. Maybe that's just a, a sign of how little I've drafted, though. Like, maybe I have more power over that than I realize, and it's just a matter of uh, doing a better job with that. Okay, so it looks like uh, it looks like Drake here did take the mulligan. And if he's mulliganing, that means he didn't love his opener. Now maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. Um, we're getting to see the ice, of course. I'm tempted to open with drawing, Carpe DMing for free cash, with or without a free run, depending on where. Okay, so possibly with a free run. Definitely we take the draw three first. Uh, well, this hand plays itself. Three, five, six. And go up to four credits. It's my pleasure, and great seeing you as always. Okay, let's do it. We're going to go three, two, completely broke, crappy diem. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, do we, does Marjana care about this? Do we actually want to give him a run to do something to me with? No. Uh, so we may as well just not run, actually, since it literally cannot help us. Was that our whole turn? I feel like that wasn't our whole turn. Oh, we drew first. Yep, that's our whole turn. Still, uh, we have our twinning engine set up, we've got our income engine set up, and we have more money available to us, and we didn't have to do anything for it. This is a really, really good, good opener. How is this a run event that doesn't run? <laughs> that's so weird. Okay, if we do wake implant and lose this, that's not a big deal. So, I think Marjana, Telework Contract, Wake Implant, Draw is not terrible for just like setting up my kill rig, and then we can start pressuring after that. And if I have to give up an agenda to do this, he's on five credits, I'm okay with that. Do I want Marjana down? No, I have three other refractors for Christ's sake, and this is the one that I was just gonna sell, and it's, I'm kit, I don't care. I want that trash. Okay, so it's telework contract, wake, draw, draw. And it has to be telework contract first and wake second because I want... What? Oh, man. What a gauntlet to throw down. I feel like I have to run this blind. He's got to res it, and I have to suffer it. Uh... Agreed for me. You know what, though? What we could do is put down the wake and pressure HQ. That's probably better. Yeah. So one, two, run HQ. Because we're probably going to get the charge counter. I can't imagine we don't get the charge counter here. Perfect. Uh, breach. How are we getting additional accesses? Twinning? Oh, yeah, sweet. We definitely take those. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, ho, ho. oh, oh, my God, it's going to happen. Oh, my God, it's going to happen. Oh, my God, it's going to happen. I can't believe it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Play only if you stole an agenda this turn, and we did. And we have the money.
That was the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> that was the craziest thing that has ever happened in any game I've played in forever. And it would 100% never have happened ever if I wasn't drafting. <laughs> Okay, that may be an exaggeration. I've done some crazy stuff, but <laughs> what a game! <laughs> that was insanity. And with ladder wart, I may be just dead. I don't know what other kills he has. What a crazy line! <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, zero cards may be dead, but. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what a good comeback. Oh, Precision Design cares about... Did you... Hmm, actually, let me offer him this. Did you want to play a card first? Like, before the HB trigger? I don't know what his hand is, but I'm offering him a take key backsies because, you know, that's a hell of a sequence to keep in mind. Okay, so at this stage, I've got one, two, three. Okay, I I've got the Stone Cold Nuts uh, for running R&D. Um, I can afford to slow down a little bit and draw three cards here. I think I draw, draw, take money before I put any more pressure. I probably try to run R&D anyway, if at all possible. Um, just because I can see one, two, three cards for freebies. And I'm pretty sure I have enough. Oh, yeah. It adds it to hand. It doesn't destroy it. Oh, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> First click draw. Second click draw. Third click. If I money and penny shaver, that's not a waste. And click draw. Uh, I think we play this because it powers up twinning. Yeah, we play these. And it powers up twinning. Okay, now we have everything we need for a win. We just charge in there with dirty laundry. We can we can actually Katorga break out another repri oh, no, reprise is dead. We've already gotten the agendas. Any hit scores a win, unless he's got one pointers, we're, we're going to win the next time we get one. He's got money, we have none, but we didn't run last turn, so we're not giving him a lot of options. Hopefully next turn is click for three credits, click for three cre or four credits, see a bunch of cards, and then make a decision. That's fine. Maybe we click for three credits, drop Penny Shever, and we'll see. Click for three credits, drop penny shaver, dirty laundry R and D, and then slow down. That actually is probably good too. And twinning will just get charged as long as I find a prepaid voice pad use every turn. And I have what eighteen events, so in theory I will. Uh, even if that's an agenda, I have to let it go. I just have to. Once he gets iced up, I really need to find a break. <laughs> Multi-access, multi-access HQ, <laughs> it transitioned into a, to a reprise to bounce the remote ice to steal the agenda. <laughs> when does that ever happen? <laughs> oh, that never happens, man. That never happens. You can play, you can play five games, and you'll never have that on turn two. Oh my god, that was insanity. You can play ten games, and it'll happen once, maybe. Mm, okay, so he's got a full hand of options, but I think we are. I think our plan was good, so we stick with it. We take money. We go for aggro, or we don't. I think we go for aggro. Yeah. So we drop the. Oh, cheers! So glad to hear that. And thank you. 
I think we definitely drop a penny shaver here. Because, yeah, like, this is the optimal uh, uh, line for us is getting accesses here. Do we care that he res bladder wart? Not especially. It doesn't hurt us yet. Yeah, okay, we're good here. We're going to take as many accesses as humanly possible. Snare is the only thing we're afraid of. Wake can only be used on R&D, and I don't have charge ability, so there's no reason not to go deep here. Sprint, Extract, Palisade, so he's going to have a barrier eventually. Pad Campaign, I will trash that one other day, not today. So he's got four cards with no agendas coming. Good to know. Um, I think here we can click for two credits, which is exceptionally slow. I think we draw. Yeah, we definitely draw here. Our goal now, our pressing goal is to get a code gate breaker so that we can start kidding everywhere. Um, just kidding, just kidding. He's not poor enough for bladder warts financially to be a threat for a while. Um, and I like that it's clogging his only possible scoring server. We need to count cards. He just took one, so there's three knowns. Uh, Palisade is the second to last. He's going to put Palisade on R&D, and I need to figure out how much Palisade costs, because I don't know that. So let's quickly figure that out, actually. Plus three. Good to know. So Palisade is not super pricey. Okay, now he has it. He drew exactly what he needed. Oh, and it's going to be a shuffle, so I don't know anything now. And he could potentially be shuffling away uh, good stuffs and... He's going to keep the Palisade for sure. But he didn't draw past what I knew, did he? No, so if... So that's a Palisade? The heck? I'm so confused. Against Kit, I generally like deep ice servers, not broad ice servers. So I'm kind of not digging this. Like, I feel like once I get a Code Gate Breaker, everything is vulnerable. And until R&D is locked down, R&D is wide open. Department of Redundancy Department much. If I drop Red Team and click twice, it's a significant gain with Penny Shaver. Even if that's a two-pointer, I think we let him have it. So here it's... It's all new accesses. I should just go for it. Like, Red Team Archives, Red Team R&D. Yeah, that's fine. Red Team... Definitely R&D. We'll worry about everything else shortly, but with Penny Shaver, we have to be doing this. Uh, yeah, that was bad ordering. I should have sure gambled first, twinning, and all that, but that's fine. Okay, that's not good. That's very not good. If he has one of those, he probably has two, which means that server could very well be the agenda he wants. Oh, while Red Team is live, do I want to use it on Archives, or do I want this? I feel like this is click compression, and that's actually more valuable to me than it being less accessible later. No, but it, it doubles as a Penny Shaver trigger, so we, we, we take those. We're just going to go for the money here. Oh, good. I should have rec remembered that he had those, but he I didn't. So now we charge up the twinning with that event and draw three. So he's getting two credits a turn. He won't be broke forever. I don't know what his deck is trying to accomplish. He's very vulnerable to death. He just drew trust operation, but I'm too expensive to get tagged easily. Uh, he's got trust operation and extract, I think. So he probably extracts some... An asset. I doubt he extracts ice. Maybe he just keeps the three credits. He extracts not. Yeah, there, there you go. That's good. He's definitely not poor. And now that becomes a scoring remote behind a simple barrier. At which point I draw three and pray. Or, hmm. Is it worth going for Marjana? Okay, now I don't know what ice is where. <laughs> First quick draw. Okay! We're good! 
Second click draw. Third click, slap down unity. Final click, unleash head. We're gonna run HQ for a profit here. We can break just about anything with this unity, so there's very little he can res that I can't get through. There is stuff he can res that I don't want to get through, but I'm getting wake implant charges off of this run, three credits off of this run, penny shaver, so four credits off of this run. Ugh, that's one of the ones I didn't want to have to break. It literally costs everything I have to break it. But I don't have a choice. I really do need to go through here. So we do that. We go through. We definitely go through. We're going to get the money back. That's not the issue. The issue is that we can't run HQ willy-nilly. And that he's installed a good code gate on the inside to burn code gate triggers for the future. Okay. So there we are. We can click for five. That's definitely what we're going to do next turn. Click for five and then, I don't know. We came out to we came off to a very very strong start. So we have unity, so we're in great shape. Um, I think we draw a bunch actually. Draw, draw, play some kind of event to trigger twinning, and run R and D would be my ideal turn. Okay. Advance it, come on. Be what I need. Why you know be what I need? Be what I need. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so here's the deal. It's double advanced and he know we know he has a seamless launch. <gasps> So why the heck is he double advancing something that's seamless launchable? So it's got to be a 5-3, right? Or a trap. There's literally nothing else can be. If I can get in, why is he letting me in? He knows I have money. So knowing that he knows that I know that he knows what I know, why would he let this happen? So trap, right? So what are the worst traps? Urtica Cipher and Core Damage. But is it an Urtica Cipher? If it's an Urtica Cipher, is 4 net damage the end of the world? Yes, but if I draw once, no. So draw once. Take a bunch of money. Draw twice. Take a bunch of money and inside job? If I'm inside jobbing, I don't need the money. Why am I inside jobbing? Why not just run it? Oh, because he's trying to tax out the unity. And because I want the trigger of prepaid. Yeah, I think I think this is an okay inside job here. It's a little silly, considering that I'm kit and I could have broken that legit, but I'm just so convinced that this is a trap somehow. Okay, so he's trying to get underneath the bladder wart threshold. Let's see. Oh! Okay, it's game! Whew. Hey, oh man. man, you had me <laughs> going for a second there. <laughs> I was like talking myself into Urtica Cypher confidence because it's like, look, he knows that I know that he knows I can get in there. I have a yeah. <laughs> code gate breaker showing with four on penny shaver. I click yeah. twice and I've got 10 credits. Yeah. So he's yeah. letting me have this. And he has a. a whatchamacallit enhanced successful uh seamless yeah so it's not was... a four two it's a five three or nothing so it's a trap yeah. so right, right, right. what are the worst traps but what if it is a trap well if it's urtica yeah. well if he's which gonna... is funny because i do have three snares in the deck <laughs> and i just didn't draw any of them this entire game <laughs> and that's why that's why you went for for uh the early bladder work because you knew that if you triggered snare boom boom yep. boom oh yep. pain yep. so much pain yeah. There was potential, but <laughs> that was a good game. You, I feel like you built your rig really fast. Uh, oh, in terms of getting what I needed down? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. yes, yes. There's two pre-pads and one twinning, I want to say, or two twinnings. 
Uh-huh. So the fact that the only two cards had power of twinning were in my yeah. opener. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that, was great. that being said, I'm pretty sure I have an illegal quantity of dirty laundry in this deck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I definitely have three. I think I might have four. No, no, I have three. I have three. I, I'll be very real with you. Reprise, I, I, I was going to cut it. And then I was like, no, no. I have it for exactly the chance that it might do some BS. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and it did exactly. Was, that was wild. That is, that's the kind of play, my bro, my bro, that I literally play this game praying will happen one day, and then it never <laughs> happens. Uh, but uh, this deck, not because I'm spicy, but because I was forced, has en passant in it. Mm, yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, what you call it? The, um, en passant and encore. So it's like, and tread lightly. So it's like one time, yeah. I tread lightly the remote, he doesn't rest the ice, I end basalt one of them, steal the agenda, encore, and you blow up everything. Right. Yep. Except <laughs> what actually happens? No, none of that, silly. You just lose. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it, it, it has twinning with only one rec- two recurring credit cards in the whole deck. Yeah. Yeah, but that was re- that's, that was nice, honestly. I think you started with one ice less than would have saved you. I think if you had had iced on H U R and D, just the amount yep. to which I would have had to be more cautious would have slowed yep. down everything. It was it was, it was tricky because um, you had five in the opener. I had I had uh, toll booth and uh, Ivic uh, as as like my first two ice, and I was like, well, I can't. I can't, I can't pop those. <laughs> and then, uh, then I have bloop in my hand, but I can't res bloop until I get another harmonic out. So <laughs> that's so frustrating. It was, it was tricky. I'm thinking... I have, oh, good. Uh-huh. I have three harmonics in the deck that I'm pretty sure, and I was hoping to just at least get a couple. And if I can get bloop going, then I can just go back and forth between bloop. Ah, oh, bloopy bloop 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 bloop. Yes, that's yep. fair. A couple of things that I'm thinking. First, I'm thinking it might be reasonable to say Corp Drafts plus five relative to mm. the runner. Because mm-hmm. you're building a 44-card deck on average, and I'm building a 40-card deck on average, right? Yep. So yep. even if it's technically in unequal and gives the Corp a slight edge, they need the edge in a draft. And yeah. in a format like this, where it's not like we're drafting out of packs and we're all drafting equally, and where there's a good chance you're only yep. playing one side at a time, Yep. it might yeah. be it's a very simple hot it's a very simple uh, uh thing to do just decide how many and draft it as long yeah. as the players it gives it gives a little bit more flexibility on pulling a couple extra agendas not having to get mm-hmm. your, the priority and then yeah the other lever that cards. i'd like to pull is to say priorec become steal a message or send a message that if you were gonna add a blank five three it gets to at mm. least be the one that core uh nsg has decided is better and yeah, I, I'm, le- I can see it. I can I'm see it. leaning towards that because think how much this game would have been different if I get my granddaddy massive early play and then you rest toll booth on HQ mm-hmm. and suddenly I have to decide between reprising your remote and going for the five points or reprising yep. the toll booth you just free rest, both of which right. are legit plays. And if I don't mm-hmm. take the second one, I don't get to harass you for the next six turns. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> buy, buy you just a little bit of time to like not be kitted out. I love that you managed to get Code Gate inside again. Oh, hey, yeah. Why did you ice every remote against Kit? I was like thinking against Kit, you don't want one ice deep remotes, right? Yeah, it's a. Uh, I feel, I haven't I don't play Corp super super often. Got it, got it. Uh, I play like a good handful of times, and even then, I'm playing like a very specific strategy. So like with this, it was just like there's a little. Being too forced much going to adapt on. all at once. Got yeah, it. That's fair. Right. Okay. I mean, I, I guess Kit has been there for almost as long as I've been playing, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm just yeah. mentally used to the, the 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 cheat sheet. Oh, you're up against Kit? Got it. Make sure your yeah. code gates are on the inside. Make a three yep. iced remote, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Which, ironically, in yep. this game, I think I broke one ice, and it was a code gate. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I, I also managed to draft four fractors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, in the um... end, uh, Penny Shaver never took gave me a credit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This was a, this was a, this was a fun game. I mean, I saw. I, I, obviously, I I know I came out ahead, but I think it was a very fun game to play. No, and no, yeah, yeah. I, it, was, it was it was fun to watch. It was um, wild it was wacky. cool to see your rig build as quickly as it did, and I was like, oh wow, I need to really figure something out here. <laughs> Hit the gas, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blood um, in the water was nice to pull. 
that oh, yeah. was just <laughs> it was like oh you no nothing in your hand okay cool we'll just go with this is literally just two points i'll take them <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly I'm, I'm thinking that putting in ratios putting in power balance and all that is good mm -hmm. but there's nothing wrong with as is just being like it's wild and wacky enjoy yeah yeah, yeah but i sure. do think that the corp needs a little more help because in both the games i mean i i did win uh, uh my corp game last time yep and okay. at no point did i feel like i had solidly you know oh i'm doing good in this game right it right. was kind of yeah. a what the hell is going on here right i you hope can, he doesn't yeah. run here i hope he doesn't do that i hope he doesn't yep. do that right J just imagine having two diversion of funds in this deck yeah and like what how do you even deal with that right. or or whatever like and also there's the whole open deck list closed deck list thing right you don't know what bag of tricks i'm gonna pull and exactly i don't mm -hmm. know what you're gonna pull so yep there have been many turns yeah. this game where i was like i'm just gonna die aren't i he res that <laughs> ice to get below the bladder wart threshold so that when i run into this double advanced urtica cipher and have zero cards in hand i die <laughs> the start of next turn Right. Yeah, that was tricky because like I had decent economy, and I was like, well, this kind of hurts using uh, using bladder, so I need to like not get too much economy or like you know like uh, threshold it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's tricky to manage. To be able to do everything bladder wart needs to do all at once. <laughs> right. I wish I could say let's go again, but I I'm getting close to my bedtime for tonight. Oh yeah, same. I don't get to stay up super late every night. That's such a lie. I get to stay up super late every night. I've got the best <laughs> wife ever. Anyway, um, thank you so much for the game, and for all y'all yeah. who came to watch, thank, thank you. you so much for, for dropping and commenting and saying hi. Uh, yes, yeah. I thoroughly have enjoyed every Peddler draft I've done, and <laughs> you, know, you know you're on the right track as a tinkerer, engineer, or inventor, or game designer when yep. you stop being able to develop your tool because you're too busy playing it. That's a yeah, really that's, good that's, sign. That's, yeah, yeah. That's a that that's pretty cool, honestly. Um, no, I really enjoyed it. I think uh, I think this is a really cool um, draft, and uh, I think with a couple of tweaks, it could be like a really fantastic draft. Thank you so much for that, and I agree with you, and I appreciate that. I'm definitely thinking next time I play this, I'm gonna offer, ask, or recommend that whoever drafts Corp gets plus five drafts yeah, frames. I think that would. Whereas yeah, the runner really gets whatever the card mm -hmm. size is, deck size yeah. is plus ten percent. So like. If I'm drafting for a 40 card deck and you're drafting for a 40 card deck, we're drafting 50 cards, fine. But the corp gets to draft 55 because yeah. every corp deck builds to that 44, right? Yeah. So, and if the runner wants yeah. to build out 47 like I did, fine. That's their idiocy. Yeah. They should have. They could have cut seven cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the would, um... corp never had that opportunity. They were cutting two cards at best. Right, right. I think for the um for the, the polling mechanic on mm -hmm. the draft, it would be interesting to have um, have the pool of cards be twice as many of whatever the card copies are. Mm -hmm. So then it'd be like any identity only shows up twice at most. Uh, any card with uh, three would show up six at most. Oh, you're saying then the max that and... can be used. So not two of everything, mm -hmm. but six of most, two of some. That's yep. interesting. And then that way you can have that way uh if you see it once, you know you only have one more opportunity to, potentially one more opportunity to see it again. For an ID. Mm -hmm. for that an ID. might be a really good uh, uh at the very minimum a stat to track. Like yeah. and it isn't hard to program. I just take my existing array of all cards, clone it once, and then mm -hmm. uh do a pass through and multiply all IDs by two, multiply all uh uh not multiply it push two more copies of one more copy of every id and two more copies of every other card yeah because yeah. with the rare exception of only one per deck cards which which no player is sad to see extra offers of because everyone wants them <laughs> right 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 <laughs> and then that solves the identity problem because i definitely saw uh, yeah i i precision think, design like three or four times i think also ratios is something else i really want to pursue with that like if you're being offered 50 cards five of them will yep. be ids at most and probably right. closer to three or four uh I, i'm thinking and i'm still i actually need you know what i need to do is i need to pin down some good deck builders uh and lord knows that you can't throw a rock without hitting a good deck builder in this community which is fantastic <laughs> um yeah and be like what 
do you think makes a good ratio? And they'll be like, oh, it depends. Asset spam deck? This deck? That deck? Like, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> calm, calm down, calm down. How yeah. many really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I because, feel like... Uh, I feel I, like I, can, I'll sh I can... Let me share the the pool that I had, all the, the card list, and uh, then... I'll jump back That way you have it. Sure. And, um... And I can see what you... Yeah. I definitely think that I like the idea of doing 30% of the draft is full random or 40 or whatever a good tilt is. And the remaining mm -hmm. 40 or 50% is strict, is not strict ratio, but is mostly ratioed. You will always be offered 15, 20% of those as agendas, 10% of those as IDs, 50% of those as ice, 30, 40% is ops and assets. So, mm -hmm. you know, a big portion of your you're never going to be in a position where i was only offered four agendas the entire time right three of them were right. hot garbage right yeah right? i think i think the from from what i pulled mm -hmm. um it felt like it was pretty even across the board like just from the the set of cards i feel like there's like a pretty good uh even spread mm -hmm. um so that led the the your random pool to be like pretty consistently even across ah, all the types ah gotcha gotcha um, but then, yeah, there's because there's so many IDs also included, that's probably also why there's so many IDs popping up. Because if there's 50 cards added to 8 of them are IDs, that's a heavy over-representation compared yep. to the one ID that I need. <laughs> yep, exactly. So, the, what I'm hearing, and I agree, is the most pressing issue with this tool currently is it needs to not offer the IDs the way it does. Once yeah. that's sorted, we can worry about fine-tuning other stuffs down the road yeah but whether yeah. it's you offer each id at most once or twice or their total number of ids offered is x and it's not going to go higher than that whatever it may be mm -hmm. it's set the tone which means that yeah, I need then to... that way mm -hmm. yep that way you get more not id cards in the pool and then you can tweak that and i will say this every time it offered an id after i had mentally decided i'm playing kit was a disappointment mm -hmm. except when it offered zaya then i was like mm -hmm. ooh. Do I want to switch everything that I'm planning and be Zaya instead? <laughs> yeah. Which, ironically, yeah, that... <laughs> this game would have been incredibly valuable since I accessed, like, a bazillion cards and broke one ice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I kept seeing I, I kept seeing other identities that were like, oh, that's interesting. I don't think I want to switch it right now. <laughs> like, pulling, pull, picking another identity is one less card to pick that could actually be useful in the game. You know, after having played Hearthstone Arena enough, Maybe that's a good point. Maybe the first two or three offers, or five percent of offers, so in a forty-card draft, that's you know two or whatever, mm -hmm. are IDs, and then yeah, there I, are no more. So you yeah. do get to go in knowing what ID you are drafting around. Yeah, that would be interesting. I mean, that's definitely right. a lot more information, a lot less randomness than I like mm -hmm. in theory. But in practice, yeah. who the hell is drafting an ID on their thirtieth pick? out of 40 <laughs> right right <laughs> if you are you're not doing it happily you're doing it because thank god i have an id i didn't find one until now <laughs> right it's right. way too late to build around yeah. it yeah. which i and... guess is a story but mm -hmm. yeah because like you i mean like you could be uh, you could have an id in mind and just hope that it comes up but there's no guarantee that it's coming up so that's like tough by waiting 30 oh, yeah. cards in and then you know I mean, last yeah, time I drafted here. Corp, I had an early Prov Devost, and then slightly later got Reality Plus for NBN. Mm -hmm. And and this was in the same format in Startup. And I was like, okay, I can really work either of these now. I don't know yeah. if I want to draft more for one or the other. Right, right. And see, here's the thing. I liked that difficulty. Imagine knowing for a fact that you've drafted two IDs in your first two frames, or three IDs in your first three frames, and now the whole draft you're thinking about those. Yeah. And, yeah, in Hearthstone, that's and yeah. Hearthstone Arena does that to you, right? Of the eight factions, you have to pick a faction immediately, but you're yeah. only offered one of three. And then it's like, all right, now you know. Good luck. That's going to dictate your whole arena draft. Yeah, that would be pretty interesting, honestly. And I like that better than the 10% solution, because even if you're offered, you know, mm -hmm. even if you're offered six IDs and it's different ones scattered throughout, those are still dead picks half the time because right. who the hell wants that fourth one? Yep. <coughs> Pardon me. Yep. Uh, this is why when I wrote my code for this program, I left so many functions. I, I broke certain tasks <laughs> down that could have been two lines of code into separate yeah. functions. 
Yep. Because I knew for a fact those functions were going to become big later. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Pick pick Good a card. Design. Picks a card. <laughs> really? That's just one line? Trust me. This is going to be complicated when you get around to it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, thank you sure. so much for the game. This was awesome. Yeah. This Have a good great. night. Thank you. thank you for coming yeah, out. You too. Please tell your friends and whatever the, the oh. site's live and if I ever update I'll keep updating. So yeah. Oh yeah, me. absolutely. This is this is a blast. Love it. Fun. Take care. Have a good night, man. Cool. Yep. Peace. Have a good one. Bye Drake. And thanks all y'all. Take care. See you guys next time.